Uh, genuinely, I believe that there's not one terrible heavy music genre that I don't like. So I think it's uh, like every like stereotypical like oh this is terrible. I'm like that is great. Like, I would listen metal, to grindcore awesome. and gore grind before I would listen to black metal though for sure. Black metal, great. Gore grind, great. Grindcore, great. Now Burzum, that shit is actually terrible. Isn't that a Nazi band? Uh, their vocalist is a Nazi, yeah. Oof. Do your education, bud. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry I'm not brushed up on my uh, Nazi trivia. <laughs> he's not a Nazi. Oh, no, he's just a pagan race realist. <laughs> he's a paleo-conservative, dude. <laughs> he's just from Kekistan, dude. He's just... Cu- He's just cosplaying as a Nazi. It's fine. Was Hieronymus a Nazi? No. Oh. Hieronymus, the, that whole, okay. The the one thing that I genuinely appreciated about a lot of the recent document, like, kind of documented stuff about the original Mayhem was the real, the real meat of it was they're just fucking nerds. Oh, yeah. It's edgelord through and through. It's it, it's really just nerds and like Burza or uh, like I'm not surprised, but I just didn't know that they claimed like being Nazis. No, uh, Barg just went supreme edge lord because he was like who he burned down a, Christian per- churches in Norway. Oh yeah, I knew that. Oh yeah, I mean that's typical yeah. black metal stuff. That has nothing to do right. with Nazis. <laughs> But like, ain't it, 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 there came a point where <clears throat> you just didn't said anything that was going to get you like villainized. Yeah, Edgelord stuff. And yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's it's so when people are saying like Borg's a fucking Nazi, no, he's a fucking nerd. He's just an Edgelord. He's not actually these things, but he just does it, or he just predominantly did it in the '90s, and then like when he get freshly got out of jail because he wanted to be relevant. That but still re- sounds bad. It's, I'm not saying it's good. It's fucking <laughs> terrible. But like... So, Ian, you're on record as loving Varg Vickerns, then? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I am on record in saying he's a fucking nerd. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's more pathetic. All right, so you're changing your religion on Facebook to pagan. Got it. Got oh wow, dude! <laughs> At least then you could celebrate your your high holiday, Christmas. Oh no, dude! <laughs> oh no, dude! No, there's uh, you ever uh, see the movie Lords of Chaos? No, I was told it was terrible. It's actually really good. Uh, People say it's terrible because it kind of lifts the curtain behind the whole black metal thing. No, I heard it was terrible because it was, like, very inaccurate. Um... So it sounds like everything you've been told is a lie. (laughs) I mean, there, there, uh, there were some embellishments and some things that, uh, I, I, I think was obviously because with any fucking movie, they're gonna play up some things or add different things. But there's, there were some historically accurate things. Um, I mean, the main things were accurate. Um, the things that are debatable are. The things that get sort of contradicted because uh, the true cult clout people want to be like, no, this is for real. Where the movie is kind of like, oh, the reality was uh, you're on a fucking nerd and had like suburban, kind of like well to do parents and like a normal family. <laughs> I mean, yeah, was he was—he was a young white guy in a wealthy social democracy. 
<laughs> yeah, and, and it was just sort of like his dad got him his own record store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> these are historical things. So and, he was an edgelord. <laughs> right. And people are like, oh, it's, it's all, all bullshit. They actually did this, and it was actually this. It's like, no. Well, he definitely Some... took a picture of his dead friend to use as an album cover. Yes. Which is awesome. <laughs> that is correct. I don't know. I feel pretty vindicated in not liking black metal through this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. But... I'll grant you I that. Feel- Folk metal is probably just as bad, though. I don't know, I don't know dude. Elevating fucking slabs. What do you consider a monomark? Uh, melodic death metal. Definitely. Viking metal. I don't know, dude. They I have mean, some folk tendencies. Thematically, yeah, Viking metal. But in terms of like their style, they're definitely mellow death. They definitely, I've, I've, uh, heard them sample some mandolin in some songs, dude. Oh, no, dude. Well, I like Behemoth, too, and they're definitely black metal influenced, so. Probably the second loudest band I've ever seen live. You've seen Behemoth live? Oh, yeah. Must. Dude. Uh, Motorhead. Motorhead? Yeah. <laughs> Folk literally... metal, isn't that just pagan or Viking metal? I have no idea. I don't listen to it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't give it a chance because he's a bigot, dude. Well, not quite. Terrible. Horrible, dude. Horrible. I can't believe you won't listen to this satanic Nazi crap, you fucking close-minded fool. Subtitle. Whatever happened to the tolerant left, dude? <laughs> Seems pretty intolerant to me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my, if we're, um, if I'm gonna listen to Black Metal, I'm gonna listen to Immortal and, and be happy with it. Yeah, Immortal Slap. Immortal definitely fucking riffs, dude. They, ha- they have riffs. I just can't get past the vocals and the production. I know. You'd probably like Immortal's newer stuff, I'm telling you. Oh, it's yeah, a lot better, like, their produced. most recent album is really good. <laughs> like, it's well produced, too. What's it called? It's... it's uh, isn't it Sons of, of Northern Darkness, or is that an older one? We need more pirate metal, do we? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's called Deep Blue. <laughs> True. By a band called Parkway Drive. Yeah. Yeah, if pirate metal is Deep Blue by Parkway Drive, then I completely agree. More pirate metal. Actually, I'm probably going to listen to Black Metal to go to sleep tonight, so. Huh. I thought you were going to say I'm going to listen to some pirate metal. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You're going to go to bed with a bottle of rum? Their most most recent album is... uh, Chaos Gods. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty black metal. (laughs) It's, uh... It riffs, honestly. Um, Sons of Northern Darkness is... A really good album too. It came out in two thousand two. <clears throat> the song Tyrants has a fucking riff. Well, with all due respect. I think I'm gonna end my night with some, you know, some real music. You know, like bubbling rectal cum fart. (laughs) Oh no. You know, something that's heavy. Oh no, dude. What? 
<laughs> Ew. That's a real song title, Spam. I promise. Look it up. It's by Cerebral Incubation. Yeah, gurgling rectal comfort. Bubbling. Bubbling, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it is fantastic. <clears throat> It's just gurgles, pig squeals, and slam riffs through and through. Hell yeah. I still think it's really funny that I was in the top 0.05% of listeners of Devourment last year. According to Spotify. 11-11, make a wish. Wow, I think that's my record time, actually. Hell yeah. <laughs> 